Some of the world's leading climate change scientists will release their latest findings tomorrow, and they say their report will remove any doubt that climate change is real or that it is caused by humans. Skeptics say climate scientists have been exaggerating the rate of global warming for years and that this report will actually back them up. Margo McDermott has a draft copy of the report. Months after Alberta's floods, crews are still cleaning up. And there's more extreme weather to come, say experts, triggered by climate change. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change says greenhouse gas emissions are at their highest level in at least 22,000 years, rising most sharply in the last five decades, causing the warmest temperatures in at least 800 years. It further affirms, A, that we have seen change in climate, B, that a lot of that is because of us, and C, if we don't do something, we're going to be in serious trouble. But global temperatures have not been rising as quickly as scientists predicted. Stone believes it's because oceans are absorbing the heat and because of the climate's natural variability. But to be honest, there's not a clear consensus amongst the scientific community of what's causing it. The uncertainty has re-energized climate skeptics. Incredible frenzy and hype for something that's a total myth. They say scientists have exaggerated the danger of climate change and its link to burning fossil fuels. But even if all of the warming from 1970 to 2000 was man-made and you project that out for the next century, you, you don't get to a catastrophe. Environmental groups are pushing back. Skeptics should go talk to people uh, in Calgary or Toronto or uh, in New York City who have just uh, uh, borne the brunt of really serious floods. The report will be released tomorrow in Stockholm, and climate change activists on both sides of the debate will be looking for a clear explanation about why the warming up has been slowing down. Peter? Margo McDermott in Ottawa tonight. Thank you, Margo.